Well, you know, I really haven't been completely satisfied about the conversation uh, by the presidential candidates of both parties uh, as relates to cities and uh, so-called urban agenda. I think it's critically important that when we look at who the next president is going to be, that they have, he or she, has a real understanding of how important cities are and our metro economies are uh, as relates to making this a, a strong country. I think sometimes people look at urban and they think of uh, black or brown or, or poor. <clears throat> but I think what we've learned over the last 10 years is that cities are where it's at. More people are now moving back into cities. Employers now see that people are stuck uh, hours waiting to get to work because of gridlock, because there's not affordable housing in the suburbs. So I believe that people are beginning to really understand that when you talk about urban, you're talking about a, a host of different people and, and a host of different economic development opportunities uh, in, in emerging urban markets. I don't believe the cities have really been involved as cities per se, but that's why it's very important what the U.S. Conference of Mayors does each and every year, regardless of a presidential election, and that's put out our report on the metro economies and shows how much the metro economy in the cities are important to our national economy. We continue to press upon how, with the right kinds of uh, tax incentives, with the right kind of training, with the right kinds of investments, right kinds of investments for affordable housing and, and job training creation, that it helps our whole global economy. The Live Where You Work campaign is, you know, it's like almost a no-brainer. Like, I remember seeing signs and they say, people are like on the highway stalled in traffic and you'll see a development and it says, if you lived here, you'd be home by now. Live Where You Work is a, is a very wonderful program that uh, Governor Corzine in the state of New Jersey uh, and Housing Mortgage Finance Agency officials did because they realized that, you know, we have so much gridlock and so many opportunities. Trenton is the state capital. We have about 24,000 state workers that come here every day. And we have wonderful housing stock and we have the opportunities to build even newer upscale housing. And so when you have a program that will say you can make up to like $120,000, $130,000 and you will get subsidy to help move into the city where you work, it's a wonderful program. It helps us repopulate our area, especially in the downtown with people with uh, disposable income. It helps our tax base. It helps our image. It helps public safety. And it also creates an area where people don't have to get in a car and pollute the air, where people can hopefully walk to work or bike to work. That helps the whole economy. And it also helps the uh, local businesses because if you have more people living downtown and walking, uh, it opens up tremendous opportunities for retail and commercial businesses as well. <music>